U.S. Cyber Command is growing its acquisition team and advancing the use of flexible procurement strategies as it plays an increasing role in the Department of Defense's cyber procurement efforts. The Department of Defense's Office of the Chief Information Officer has released a document meant to serve as guidance for defense agencies seeking to achieve continuous authorization to operate for DevSecOps platforms and other applications produced by a software factory as part of efforts to counter cyber threats. Rob Brown has been appointed as Senior Vice President of National Security Solutions at Alpha Omega Integration. The U.S. government intends to provide $6.4 billion in funding through the CHIPS and Science Act to help establish a semiconductor ecosystem in Central Texas in partnership with Samsung Electronics, which would invest more than $40 billion over several years. The National Security Agency's Artificial Intelligence Security Center, in collaboration with U.S. and international partners, has released new guidance on deploying secure and resilient artificial intelligence systems. A bill that reauthorizes and reforms Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act is now moving from the House of Representatives to the Senate. The Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency has launched Adjudication and Vetting Services as a new organization formed through the merger of Consolidated Adjudication Services and Vetting Risk Operations, two key mission areas within DCSA's personnel vetting enterprise. The second Marine Aircraft Wing under Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Training Squadron 2 has begun assembling its first MQ-9A Reaper as part of the process to transition to the new unmanned platform. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2024 Cyber Summit on June 6, 2024. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. The Department of Energy's Los Alamos National Laboratory has unveiled its newest supercomputer called Venato, which is powered by NVIDIA's GH200 Grace Hopper superchips designed to process high-performance computing and large-scale artificial intelligence applications. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has unveiled the agency's plans to seek new methods of retrieving Mars samples being collected by the Perseverance rover to support future space exploration missions.